you have a feeling tonight is your night of freedom, shout hallelujah. 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 Shout! a great evening tonight expect nothing less than your miracle tonight as God has assured me that 15 people are leaving here with their miracle you didn't hear me God has told me that 15 people are leaving here with their miracle I want to take this opportunity to also welcome everybody watching online. Please help me appreciate all our e-church members on Facebook, on Instagram, on Periscope, on YouTube. Please understand that the same presence we're experiencing here is the same presence you are experiencing there. I know, I know you wish you would be here, you could be here. I've had several email, emails from all over the world from people wishing and praying that one day they will be able to step their foot on the altar or at the premises of Rock Hill Church. And I know it will come to pass. Yeah. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not. Not even me can stop what God needs to do in your life. Tell your neighbor it's too late for the enemy. Don't tell your neighbor it's too late for the enemy. Hallelujah. So one more time, help me, help me appreciate those watching the Lord. I've been told we have visitors um, from all over the states coming, all the way from Virginia. Um, we have, did I get it right, Dreon Lee? Where are you? Wave your hands quickly. Celebrate him from Virginia. All the way from Connecticut, we have Tamika Cope and Taylor Cope. Please wave your hands. Come on, celebrate them. Come on, do it like we're doing in Rock Hill. All the way from New Jersey, we have Opal. Where are you? Wave your hands. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia, we have Daphne. Where are you? Did I pronounce it right? Please forgive me if I never did. Where is she? Wave. Come on, come on, celebrate her over there. Also, all the way from Alabama, she drove here. We have Dominique, please wave your hands. And we have Dona from Stone Mountain, right down the road. Where are you? Wave your hands. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Awesome. I'm excited about the new book being released for the month of June. I, I thought somebody would clap their hands up. It just came out fresh from the printers today. And this one has been titled, Timely Word. Timely Word. It is important that you discover how to sniff your prophetic word because your prophetic word is in the mouth of a prophet hi mama I see you oh please wave your hands to mama God bless you I just seen you God bless you 
God bless you. Good to, I'll tell you more about her very soon. Um, her son, her son um, um, is on holiday from Oral Robert University um, and, and, and he wants to come and just serve, just to be a part of Rock Hill Church and then go back. And I love the attitude of her mother. In as much as the son was very excited about coming to Rock Hill, the mother wasn't. She was not. The Bible says, test all spirits. So she was not moved by the excitement of her son, no. So I think she dropped her son and um, um, she was waiting to pick the son up. And, and I, I, he, the, the, the boy said, mom is in the car. I said, let mommy come. And when she came in, she was a bit like, hmm, let me sauce you out. Let me sniff you out. But uh, I was also sniffing her out. And um, I realized that she was an educationist. She was very passionate about education. And um, as much as her son was excited, she was burnt on making sure that he finishes everything he needed to. So sniffing her out, I said, hey, son, you got to finish everything you, your mama told you to. Then mama said, did you hear the prophet? You're a real prophet. You're a real man of God. I said, yay. I hit it right there. Um, but um, she, she just, um, she lost um, one of her sons um, this year, right? And um, may his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. And may, may the good Lord comfort you. And Rock Hill is a church that embraces and loves you. Pastor Jackie, make sure that you keep in touch with Mama. And thank you for allowing your son to come over. Please help me, son. We also have Roseanne and her daughter from Florida. Where are you? My only Ogoni here. Thank you. It's going to be a good night. So, um, timely word is very important. As, as, a, as, a ma, as a person, you must sniff out your prophetic word. You must look for what your prophetic word is. What is my prophetic, prophetic word? Who has my prophetic word? Which prophet is the one that God has ordained to say in my life, thus saith the Lord. Because for every person, your word is in the mouth of a prophet. Trust me. For every individual, your word is in the mouth of your prophet. And God also honors their word because he has ensured you in their hands. Am I making sense? So it is important, it is very vital that you sniff your timely word. You sniff your miracle and you receive that miracle. This book will transform your life totally. I promise you, I prom it will transform your life totally. This book, this book, one of my best books I've ever written and I dedicated it to my wife. God bless you, mama. We also have the She Woman, it will be at the back. And we have the He Man Conference coming up. Send your son, send your husband, ship them to me. Ship, <laughs> ship them to me. <laughs> we also have the Decoded Mystery of Worship. And there are other books over there, right? So please visit the stands and I will make sure you get your book. And get it autographed. But let's go straight into the Word of God. Are you excited about the Word of God tonight? Let us all stand for the reading of God's Word. Let's stand for the reading of God's Word. Micah chapter 5 verse 11 to 12. And I'll be reading from the New International Version. I'll be reading from the New International Version. Micah chapter 5 verse 11 to 12. I will destroy the cities of your land and tear down all your strongholds. I will destroy your witchcraft 
and you will no longer cast spells. This is God speaking. I will destroy your witchcraft and you will no longer cast spells. You will no longer cast spells. You will no longer cast spells. You know, um, um, we, we make witchcraft look very fashionable in, in, in the foreign parts of the world. So now we're able to release movies like Harry Potter just to soften the seriousness of witchcraft. So we say casting spells. No, this literally means a spiritual net that's been thrown on you to control your destiny. So they can literally watch you in their spiritual computer and monitor everything you are doing. Witchcraft is a serious thing. It's not Harry Potter. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't be moved by those movies. I'm telling you, witchcraft is real. That's what the Bible says here. I will, let's read it together. One, two, three, let's go. I will destroy and I will, and you will no longer. Now, I want you to now tell that devil, tell that witch, tell that demon that you are about to destroy their works tonight. Let's read it together. One, two, three, let's go. I... Come on, speak it again. Say it again. Say it for the third time. I will destroy your witchcraft and you will no longer. Oh, something will happen tonight. Altars will be destroyed tonight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's head to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, uh, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. I'll read the New International Version. I'll, new, I'll read the New Living Translation and the English Standard Version. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Don't be involved with witchcraft. Rather expose them. Do not be involved in witchcraft. Do not have anything to do with witchcraft. Bishop, Apostle, it's good to see you and your beautiful wife. God bless you. Please help me celebrate them. The New Living Translation says, Take no part in worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. English Standard Version says, Take no part in unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. And that's what I'm doing. It's part of scriptures. So those who don't preach about it, that's their business. It's in the scripture. Expose them. And that's why Tuesday nights are my favorite. Because God gives me the insight to expose them. They will be exposed. Tonight you will defeat every witchcraft manipulation. In your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, breathe through me as I breathe on your children. Take my being aside and fill me with your power and your glory. For if you don't speak, I cannot speak. Lord, tonight, do what only you can do and take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen five times. Please be seated. Tonight's message has been titled, How to Identify the Spirit of Witchcraft. How to Identify the Spirit of Witchcraft. How to Identify the Spirit of Witchcraft. If you're a member of Rock Hill Church, then you'd follow our syllabuses and discover that on Sunday it is strictly empowerment 
where the message is that's been preached on the altar is preached to empower you to manifest. Then on Tuesdays, the messages that comes from this altar is to give you knowledge and insight. It's to open your eyes to see what you were not seeing before. It's to open your eyes to discover who has been behind the scene that you are not seeing. Who is behind the scene that you are not seeing? Identifying the spirit of witchcraft. Last night, Mama put a movie in that's been released by um, Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. And when she put it in on, on Sunday night, it was too late in the night. I said, I told her, don't play this to me in the night. I want to watch it during the day. <laughs> because some of the spiritual things that were happening, I knew it would send me to another battle in the midnight. So I told her, let me watch it during the day. And I took time to watch. Now, Hollywood did this. Not me. Not me. A family. A family. Beautiful family. Nephews and cousins, husbands and wife. Had a problem. And what they did not know. Was there was a witch. In the house. Who had an altar, Jaden? Who had an altar in the basement of the house? And this witch was literally following them to also pray. Pretending to be a prayer warrior. It's a Hollywood movie. It's not even an African movie. No, Hollywood. Go watch it. No, mama was literally saying, this is Tuesday night. Tuesday night at Rock Hill Church. Tuesday. That's what she kept on saying. Tuesday night at Rock. This is what Papa does. In fact, the beginning of the movie, the father was beating messlessly by the demon. The demon made sure they disciplined father. Ah. And this woman who was behind the trouble was the one praying, looking for help. But she was the one with an altar. No, there, was, there is an altar she was sacrificing on. That was in the basement of the house. Let me tell you things she did. There was a point the husband and the wife were fighting. Not knowing that he had changed, she had changed their images to each other. So one time, the man was about to knock the wife. Then someone held the hands. That's when he realized that was his wife. Everything I've been preaching, Hollywood has done it for you. Go and watch it. No. What the most painful part was a young man, I think the neat nephew, it was a nephew. You've watched it. Huh? You've watched it already? Corey, instead of you to be working, you're watching movies. But the the nephew murdered somebody without knowing what he had done. So, he literally was walking on the street after the murder and the police stopped him. Then he said, it looks like he's killed somebody. The spirit went into him, did what they wanted him to do and stepped out. So, they were going to... Um, 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 what was his um, um, judge? What were they going to do to him? 
Hey, we <laughs> Well, they were going to put him on a death penalty. Then mercy spoke. Then he had to prove that it wasn't him. So they had to bring evidence that something had entered him. All this thing happening, the woman was working magic on an altar basement in the basement of the house. So if you think witchcraft is not real, and if you think it was just a movie, Hollywood, not, not Nigeria, Hollywood has exposed. I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked. Do you remember beginning of the year, God told us in this church that aliens were going to invade? Did you remember? Oh yeah, get ready. Get ready, they're coming. Mama showed me a video of, in, it was in India. Aliens had started walking in India. Oh, ask God. There is no prophecy God speaks in this house. That does not come to pass. This year, you will see them in Walmart. You see them. In, that's why you got to be careful wherever you're going. Oh, yeah. How to identify the spirit of witchcraft? Number one, witchcraft is not a good thing. Don't wish for it. Witchcraft is not a good thing. Do not wish for it. And if they try to give it to you, reject it. Because witchcraft is inherited. Witchcraft is inherited. Whilst you're busy evangelizing for people's life to be saved, they are busy also looking for the next person to hand over the witchcraft mantle to. So witchcraft is family inheritance. Witchcraft is family inheritance. Every evil stronghold has a family and that family has that witchcraft and their job is to destroy destinies Jesus said lack of knowledge my people perish and that's the problem the modern day believer has lack of knowledge lack of knowledge you think everybody should be nice as you are you think everybody should be kind as you are. No. Wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah, smell it. Some make it very obvious. Others, you can live with them for years. And you will never know. They are behind the trouble. I'm not talking from a book I've read. I'm talking from experience. <laughs> Witchcraft is not a good thing. They don't care how old the person is. As little as two, three, four, five years old. If you lose or if you let, if you're a careless parent, they will transfer witchcraft into that child. Some of you, you let your children go into any cousin's house, any sister's house, because your family, yes, no problem. No problem. You are not sensitive with the food they're about to eat. You've trained them to eat anything, anywhere. Thumbs up. You must be able to train your child that if it's not mama or papa that's given you this food, don't touch it. Not just food, sweets, chocolate. Because 
All they have to do is initiate that. And it's game over. The spirit of rebellion would fall on that child. That's the beginning. The beginning stages on the child. Some of the schools that your children are, go, go, are going to. The teachers who are there carry witchcraft. Uh, tonight, anywhere your child is, I cover them in the blood of Jesus. She, my grandmother is dead so I can talk about her. That's my father's mother. She was the, the, the matrons of witches. I'm not, tonight, I'm not talking from a book I'm reading. I'm telling you my story. She was the matrons of witches. She only confessed when she was about to die. Oh, they know when they're about to die. And you know the sad part? They will quickly confess their sins for forgiveness. After they have done so much evil. They don't mind killing their own children. They don't mind destroying the destiny of their own seed. They don't mind. They don't mind. They don't mind destroying your marriage. They don't mind destroying their sons. They don't mind wasting their daughters. Why? Because they've also helped to waste others. Because the witchcraft uh, 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 me in their meetings, it's not just them. It's different families coming together. Ten different families can meet in the corner of Stone Mountain every night from 12 to 3. There are times they meet 12 to 3. If you want to pray in your house, start from 12. Any other time you're wasting it. They are prayed in the night from 12 to 3. From 3 going, they're making their way home. If you live with a witch or a wizard, check those times. You'll see they pretend to fall in a deep sleep. Because the spirit has left the body. They've gone on their meetings. So you will do anything to that spirit. They won't wake up. They'll say, I was in a deep sleep. Lie, lie. They are flying. They are meeting to plan and plot. Why is Shander prospering? Why is she connected to that African man? Who is in depth with knowledge? Why have you allowed that connection? Do something to break that relationship. Because that man will set her free. And you all know that she is not allowed to be set free. She must be in the spell. Their job is to kill and destroy. My own grandmother wanted to nominate me. Because when they checked my spirit at the youthful age, they realized that this man carried too much power. That if they could get his body... will be good for them. So apparently, every time I got home, I would never eat my own mother's food. As a baby, I think I was four years old. I only wanted to eat grandmama's food. Mom was telling me the story. You will never touch my food. All you wanted to eat is grandma's food. But they tried it and nothing happened. Because greater is he that is in me. Ah, 
from tonight, they will try you, but fire will thunder them. Yeah, change my microphone for me. I'm in a different mood. I don't want to be a gentleman tonight. Fire will thunder them. My, my grandmother started calling me Dr. Badu when I was four years old. Listen, they can see the future. So, their job is to kill the future. Destroy the future. So, the struggling you're struggling is not because God wants to. But a witch has cast a spell somewhere. But tonight. Where's the mic? Tonight. Any name that has been nominated on an evil altar, it is catching fire. Somebody shout catch fire. Shout catch fire. Any strange altar that your name has been placed, your name has been placed on strategically to destroy your destiny. It is catching fire. Somebody shall catch fire. Any altar your children's name are on, any altar they place your womb, any altar they place your eyesight. And the altar they place your kidneys. Ayadagusha Rebegudo Metelelelo Shanapa Rebegi Catch fire! Shall fire! 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 Turn up! Hear me. Some of you, the reason why doctors cannot discover where the problem is. Is because there's a stronger hold holding the kidneys. Barbecuing it every night. No koshe. Zimini robokupa. Vedebekatu. Remigidi vazuva. Mepeki redigos katapa. Nemene matu. Pepepe kotoko. Every doctor's appointment you go, they just don't know what is wrong. They just cannot identify. It is because somebody somewhere is holding it. But tonight, loose me and let let me go. Loose me. Your 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 meat will be poison in your their mouth. Anything they are waiting on to consume in their mouth, I declare as your apostle, let it become poisonous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it become poison. Shall fire. Taka paka. They've killed medical doctors in your house. They've killed lawyers in your house. They've killed intelligent people in your house. But you, they will not touch you. They cannot touch you by the power of the blood, by the power of the anointing. Shut it up! Turn it up, David. Kepora tata. Yede de de no shapa. Remena na na mata tata. Eke pa pa pa. Devil, you can't touch me. Satan, you can't touch me. Principalities, you can't touch me. This year I will prosper. This year I will become that which God says I must become. Shall fire. <laughs> Three men in the family. Three brothers. Three brothers. Good men, very good men. They love their wives, but there's a problem. They can't 
give seed. First brother, same story. Second brother, same story. Third brother, same story. You don't need a rocket scientist to tell you that there's a problem somewhere. You people were here the other day when I was doing deliverance and one witch manifested. And I asked the witch, and please, men of God, if you don't have that anointing, don't try it. You are there. That anointing is given to you based on your assignment. I will do deliverance and go and sleep. Okay. You, if you touch and do, come out, come out. They'll come out and enter you. One of the things in the movie, a young man said, when the demon entered a child, the young man looked at the demon and told the demon, Take me, leave him alone. Then the demon entered. That's why when I'm doing deliverance, I push people. I tell people, move. Because these demons are stubborn. You can fake that you're a prayer warrior here. But these demons, they know who is holy. They know who is a cleaner vessel. They know your history. You can pretend to be shut up. No, no, no. You, you, no, no. You can fake it to me, but you can't fake it to these witches. No, you can fool me, but you can't fool a witch. Look, 20 years ago, in the church in London, Manor House, who told you witches don't go to church? I was one of the worship leaders there. And there was this young man, myself and another young man called David. So that day, David was doing worship. And I was out. So I went to stand where the media was. Then I saw a young lady. This is what she was doing. Whilst praise and worship was going on. So during the service, the prophet our servant arrested that demon. You know what she said? She said whilst the worship leader is leading worship, that worship leader is so weak. So she swallows everything the man is saying into the bottle. That's why people do not connect to the worship. You see, when you sing and they see fire, they know fire. When you sing and they see canality, they know it. So I said, why? I, I, the pastor asked, why are you doing She said, because we must destruct. We've been sent to the church to destruct. Some of you, do you realize that certain churches, while the preacher is preaching, some people are sleeping. No, witchcraft are fanning you. Because the message was for you. And they know that if your timely word comes and you receive it, you'll be set free. So they must do all they can to destroy. That's why here no witch can enter here. There is fire 24-7. Tonight I release your miracle to you. Receive your breakthrough tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. said witches don't go to church they are the first to open the door of the church just as you're given a mantle they also have a mantle so all they gotta do is take off that mantle hide it somewhere in the church in the toilet
Lord, tonight I'll open your eye. Because I've been given authority to destroy the works of the enemy. So they'll come to church, go to the toilet and hide that witchcraft. You will see them speaking in tongues. That's why those of you who are who join worship, you want to go outside. Join, you don't even know. You don't need to use the bathroom. You just want to go. You will catch something you're not supposed to catch. You, you, it's like your your bum cannot sit down. You every second you want to go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, enter. Go. Go and sit on that thing. It's called public toilet. What do you expect? Is it for your father? No. Did you bring your own toilet to church? No. And the reason why witchcraft is having a good time in churches now is we've lost the spirituality in our services. We, we've lost it. We are now sticking to, you know, one hour service. You know, it's okay. Hallelujah. When you feel them, hey, it's okay. Close the service. I got to preach second. Which second service? What's the difference between that preacher and a motivational speaker? You see, the problem with you is you want to be like a white man. But let me tell you, the white man, that cancer that kills, forgive me, I have white daughters here, it's okay. They, they are black people inside, it's okay. <laughs> Hear me. The, the, the white man, eh, let me tell you, that cancer that they die of, they don't care. They're okay. They'll give their life insurance to the cat in the house. And the family. They don't care. They, they don't care. So they can have cancer. They can, they, they're fine. And then they die. In fact, they'll calculate their grave and tell you, when I die, put me in the... By you, black man! You black man, huh? So you cannot... Have a black blood and follow white people. <laughs> Your bloodlines are different. Your culture is different. Your people are wicked. My son went to Africa. He came back and said, he's not going back again. <laughs> I said, Papa, I'm not going back again. Because when they see you, they calculate. Uh, look at money. Why have they prospered? And I haven't. Then I must kill him. Some of you, most of you are from Haiti. Two weeks ago I was in a church, a Haitian church. The level of witchcraft operation there. Haiti. Oh, I'm going to Haiti myself. I'm going there. What do you mean, huh? That's my job. The, I, I, ah, it was like, look at ugly witchcraft. It's not nice. They smell. Witches smell. There's a smell. But 
Tama Kala Badaya. So you realize that young men are in jail. Who said God wanted you to be in jail? The family stronghold casted a spell tonight. Any spell that has been cast on you, on your marriage, on your children, on your destiny, I break that spell by the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost! Number one, witches look for dry areas, dry churches. That's where they like. Your barrenness is not normal. Forget the doctor's diagnosis. It is not normal. That which you are praying for that you haven't seen, it is not normal. Something is wrong. That depression is not normal. That suicidal thought is not normal. Something is working. Behind the sea. That confusion in the marriage is not normal. Check the level of how many people are married in the house. If you are literally the 1% of the people married, hide your marriage. Do not walk around and expose your marriage when 10 10 women in your family are not married. If their children are not as intelligent as your children, hide your children. I know, I know you want the world to see how cute they are. I know, I know. But hide them. Hide them. Hide them. Hide them. Because they are evil. If you're not lucky and one wizard marries you as a female and makes you a spiritual wife, no man can look they can turn you into a man they they can turn you make you look like a man to the one that loves you they can turn you into a strange animal to the one that loves you I'm cooking something in the altar. You see, lack of knowledge is the reason why you're struggling. They know how to trigger your trigger points. They know how to set the spirit of anger in you to destroy what you had that they didn't have. Then you join them. They will be your supporting party. Until you finally realize that. Wait. I just lost something. A man was losing his eyesight. No doctor could detect what was wrong. They came to one of my meetings in Ghana. My eyes opened. Then the woman started saying, we use his eyes as mint for dessert after we eat in the spirit. Huh? Yes. Mint. You know what mint is? After they eat. So 
night by night, his visuals are going every night. Who gave them access? Tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any body part of yours that they are holding on to destroy, it, let it become poisonous in their mouth. Shout fire five times. Fire, 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 fire. In that meeting, I picked up in the spirit. Some a woman had strange migraine. It, she said, "Papa, there is no medication I've not taken." Then God said, "Lay hands." I laid hands. Then the, the witch came out and said, "Leave me." I said, "What are you doing?" She said, "Oh, <laughs> no, no, oh." <laughs> I said, "Oh, what?" <laughs> We use the head as soccer ball in the night. When we need to play, we use the head as soccer ball. The spirit of God arrested another woman. Then I realized she was barren. They said, ah, the husband loves her so much. That we have now taken her womb. And it's on our altar. Because if she gives him. If she gives the husband a child. The husband will sign a will to her. That will make her prosper. So we have taken her womb. Tonight. Anything of yours. That is in the hand of the enemy. Let it catch fire. Shall catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shall lose me and let me go. Watch me. A young lady had finished night vigil. She had finished night vigil. Night vigil. Prayer. Finish. Dawn, she was going back home. Then a taxi driver knocked her and killed her on the spot. So the taxi driver comes out and shouts, this is not possible. This is not possible. So people said, ah, what, why are you saying this? You've just killed someone. He said, no. I saw a chicken cross me. I saw a chicken cross me. So in Africa, they like to find out what happened. So they took the body back to the village. You know what happened? An old man sitting there said, yeah, we did it. She came here two weeks ago. She greeted everybody. She didn't greet me. Lord have mercy on us. I pray the blood of Jesus on you. I pray the blood of Jesus on somebody here. Shout the blood of Jesus. Some of you, your carnal life is what is allowing them to play with your destiny. You pretend that you are a child of God in church. But after church, there's nothing on you that shows that you're a child of God. You don't pray at home. You don't seek the face of God at home. You don't take the communion. You don't access the blood. And so long as you don't do it, they are your friends. That's why every night you're being fed in a dream. Some of you, you've eaten so much in a dream. It is satanic contamination. It is direct witchcraft access. Tonight I'll be doing deliverance. Any food you have eaten in a dream, 
it is coming out it is coming out it is coming out by the blood of the lamb it is coming out the weaker your spirit the quicker the access hear me the weaker your spirit the quicker the access some of you has, have been injected in a dream. Wait, lift your hands up if, if you've been injected in a dream. Don't be shy because your deliverance is here. Don't, don't pretend you can be a, a, a leader here. Don't worry. Lift your hands. Anything I call, if you put your hands down, your angel will go. I'm not here to play, play games. And please don't impress me. Don't try to impress me. If you've been injected in your dream, that's the sickness they're sending your way. Prayer without knowledge is foolishness. Payakata, payakata. What are you payakata in? You are firing blanks. Your prayer must have a focus and a target. Don't intimidate me with your tongues. Impress me with the power you carry. At this level at Rock Hill, there are some things you shouldn't bring to me. But rather tell me what you did to them. Who said you're happy about your marriage? Who said? Who said? And why should they be happy for you? No, why? Why should they be happy that you are married? Because you're the cutest in the house. All of them are sitting there. The man, you are even older than all of them. The man surpassed all of them and married you. You think they'll be smiling with you? Hmm? Mm -mm. Their children are in jail. Your child is doing, your children are doing well. You think they will let you go scot-free? As a mother, that's where you sit. Kaya, paya. Father, protect my children. Father, guide my children. Father, protect them. When they are going out, you anoint them. If you conform to the system of America, you would look stupid. Sunday, Desi called me. He was dying in the car. He couldn't talk. I said, what's wrong? He said, Papa, I'm dying. I said, no son of man will die. <laughs> Come out. Everything came out. In the car, right? In the car. I said, come out. He started throwing up in the car. Yes. Because I'm a spiritual father. Tonight, any demonic attack, demonic orchestration, planned for you for the month of July, for the month of June. Ah, let it backfire. I send it back to the sender. Shout back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. I was doing counseling three weeks ago. A young lady. I think she'll come here. And I will not identify her when she comes. 
every church she goes to because of her problem. Even the pastor tells her, please leave this church. Wow. Because she has seven spiritual husbands. Every one of them comes to sleep with her. Discharge on her. So she wakes up. No, in fact, in the night she feels like someone is on top of her. But she doesn't see. And then she wakes up and she sees a man's discharge on her. Not just that. Her eyes are going. Her ears are 30, 28 year old girl. This one. If any man makes a mistake and marries this one. You would die. Because all these seven spirits. Are claiming her as their wife. She went to a hospital and the doctors after diagnosing and couldn't find said, find a powerful pastor to go to. Oh. I'll be working on her case. That's, yeah. th that's mine. Or that, that's, that's peanuts for me. Another young lady. Her father is the master wizard. In Togo, West Africa. No, Pastor Sikonya, listen, the thing she's been hearing during counseling, because you know, when you call, you have to speak to her first. She'll make sure she, she, she diagnoses you. You know, when you go to the hospital, you go to a first nurse. So she will look at her and tell me, Papa, this is 911. No, from the time she started doing counseling, I've seen her life change because the things she's hearing. The young lady. Snakes comes to sleep with her. And the snake is the father. And the father said, I'm the one. Now, this one is difficult. Do you know why? Because the father, the biological father is the serpent. So he has the DNA. So if you are not a powerful man of God, they will even destroy you. Because this is his property. But Lila, not Rock Hill Church. Not here, because the Bible says, He whom the Son has set free is free in the day. Tonight, any covenant, any evil covenant that you are involved in without your permission, I stand as your apostle, I stand as your father and decree and declare that that covenant is broken. Shout, it is broken. I cannot hear you. I said, shout, it is broken. Sorrow gives them happiness. But tonight, tonight, any pain they cost you, any hurt they cost you, I return it back to them and their children and their children's children and their entire generation times 51. I set you loose, I set you free by the blood of the lamb somebody shout I'm free that's why you need a spiritual covering because there's some battles you can't fight on don't try to fight it The name of the Lord is a strong town. The righteous run into it and they are. Ah, anyone that said you will not marry, they will witness your marriage. Anyone that said you cannot have a child, they will witness your child dedication. Shall fire. Shall fire. 
shall fire shall fire anyone that said you will fail financially they will witness you become a millionaire shall fire they use or operate in something called familiar spirits no 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 shh, 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 shh. Familiar spirits. No, move it forward. Don't worry. Move it forward. Familiar spirits. They can jump in any pet. Familiar spirit. And they can't, they hardly can use a dog because dogs are loyal. But cats are not. And the soul of a cat is very similar to a human being. That's why you can never see a cat die. The day a cat disappears in the house, somebody will die in the house. Cats are too sensitive. Don't you realize that if you lose an eye, you can put a cat's eye there? Oh, you don't know it. Oh, you don't know medically. Go and check. Most people have cat eye. You don't know. Big, oh, yeah. So cats are very similar to human beings. Cats are sensitive. Very sensitive. A dog can be sleeping in the night. But a cat, midnight, you see them. Meow. Me, if I catch you outside my house, <laughs> black thunder, you. <laughs> no, listen. If there are fifteen nephews in the family, they can destroy all nephews. No, move forward. Why have you gone back? Sit forward. Stop. I'm touching you. You are running back. Are you running to stand? Running to? You want me to preach to the chairs? Okay, let me lay hands on the chair. <laughs> Don't be afraid. My own cousin, before he died, they made him a drunkard. Destroyed his kidneys. They know what to trigger to kill you. Ah, but tonight. Oh. Kenalo. Shapara bakopa. Pedegidugudugudu. Tonight by fire. Any trigger point they have around you. Yeah. I reverse it to their own children. They will bury their own children. Oh. One of my daughters came here. She started from counseling. The moment. She started talking. I said, this is from your mother. She said, Papa, you're right. Then she now remembered certain things the mother advised her to do in her marriage to destroy it. Be careful who you think is counseling you. When someone who doesn't have what you have is counseling you, be careful. Do you hear me? When someone who doesn't have what you have is counseling you, be careful. If I have a 
houses and you are having houses and you need counseling, I don't mind. But I don't own a house, I'm renting. Then you are trying to ask me how to run my house. Do you think I'll teach you how to run my house? I envy you. I wish I had what you have. I can pretend we're happy, but I wish we had all lost everything. That's the problem you have. Some of you have friends who don't have what you have, yet you are the one running to them to tell them your problem in your house. If they don't have the marriage you have, don't talk to them. You are walking with a fine gentleman who wants to marry you. You are asking friends who don't have a man in their life. To tell you what to do. Mm. Oh. I didn't say it. Oh. Find someone who is in it, who has it, who is enjoying it. Ask them what to do. <laughs> Lady Gina. She bought a house recently. Then she put on social media she, that every day they have to go for a walk. And then she, she now, there was one video she put her new car. And then she, 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 hold, she hold her husband's hands and she said, me and baby boo, we're going for a walk. Then I called her and said, here, daughter, be ready for attack. You are walking on the street of your new house with your new Mercedes with your baby boo yeah after you no I'm not saying don't put it on because you must by all means praise God but after that that night go home stay in your closet shut up Lord protect my house. Some of you, they'll tell you, let's see the picture. Then you send a selfie. These are the family. Mm. A young man had a dream. In the dream, he was shot and it was she was shot in the head. He woke up and told his family that I've been shot in my head in a dream. They all laughed. He was traveling from one state to the other. He had an accident and he died. When they did the postmortem, there was a bullet in his head. How did the bullet end up in his head when it's a car accident? Something doesn't add up. Are you being blessed tonight? Look. It's called witchcraft. Because they're very crafty. They are the most intelligent spiritual organization ever listen do not underestimate the intelligence i know you're a prayer warrior i know you're very holy i know i i know i know i know but don't underestimate the level of their intelligence a witch can live with you for 10 years and you will not know that they are behind your trouble. Wow. You will never know. Look, I tell you my story because I'm not afraid. My father and my mother, when they started 
living together. My father and and with the craft was from my father's house more. I mean, my mother had her own. Eh? Every house has it, mm-hmm. but that's one was too much. He would literally have money in his closet and would come and check the money, and there'll be no money there. All they wanted was for him to be broke. He was working in an airline when they fired him without him not doing anything. And they rendered him jobless for 20 years. (laughs) That is when our eyes opened. That is when my father's eyes opened. That is when he realized that he needed to find something. (laughs) If life is not going how it has to go. So there is something behind but tonight that something will be arrested on the altar somebody shall fire five times for my mother my father would have been dead long time so they could not stand her because she was too sensitive <laughs> witchcraft no good though. They can swallow all your intestines and leave you on the work table of surgery for you to die. Some people, don't you know that before that accident happens, they've already killed them. Before that accident, when you see people dying like that, they've already killed them. They've already killed. Tonight, no one will become a victim of satanic nomination. Shout amen five times prophetically. No one will die in any car crash. No one will die in any accident. If you are watching online, you are part of this. No accidents, no accidents. No road accident. I exempt you. I pull you out. I cover you with the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb. I dip you in the blood. I soak you in the blood. Show Jesus. Intelligent, very crafty, very calculative, very observant. They are very focused. They are united. They operate in unity. They work with principalities. They work with rulers of darkness in your areas. In the night, they seek for spiritual transmissions to invade your space. My team will tell you that when I travel, Unless it's not a ministerial job. If it's a beachside hotel, there's no way I'll stay there. 
because of the level of marine spirit in operation. There is no way. Your spirit man has to be sensitive to satanic operations. Those of you who are nurses at work, if you want to know one place they literally live is the hospitals. There's a, there was a hospital in London called Mayday. Any child or any pregnant woman that went there, the child would die. So they ended up calling it may die. No, it doesn't matter how healthy you are. Because some of the doctors and the nurses are satanic agents. That's why it's not every nurse or every doctor you allow to touch you. Because they have their agents everywhere. Tonight, I shut down the operations. Oh my God, oh my God. I shut down the operations. I shut it down. Any satanic spiritual networks working in the atmosphere, working around your homes, monitoring your destiny, monitoring your children, I shut their network down. Oh, clap your hands and shout. Shout! Shout! I shut them down by the blood of the Lamb. I shut them down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any satanic monitor monitoring your household, I crush their monitors. I crush it by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shall die by fire. Listen, they're so crafty, it is almost too hard to find them. It is almost too hard to find them. And sometimes by the time you find them, it's too late. I know I'm preaching myself. My, my, when, my, when my grandfather died, I told my mom, I want to come to the funeral. Mom said, please, don't step here. Mom, my son, go. Go. Please, don't come here. I know my people. Mom, and some of you are quick. Any funeral, you want to be there. Oh, family, cousin, oh, nephew. <laughs> Let me tell you, this month, any witch that's been working around you, no, shh, shh, shh. any witch that you didn't know was a witch, that has operated evil around you. Spirits don't die, but the body they used, they will die by fire! been here before a week ago have I seen you before a week ago you've been here before he has I came to your church what church was it where shall I? oh your church 
That's when my daughter was in ICU that week. Yes, sir. Give me oil. Apostle Tom, now you're going to work on me. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Touch! In the realms of the spirit, they want to temper his, with his eyesight. I'll deal with it tonight. I'll work on it tonight. So, you need a spiritual covering. Because in the spiritual realm, there are levels. Trust me. Don't go and fight a fight you don't have the strength for. That's why when your spiritual covering gives you a mantle, there is a reason why. That's why when they give you anointing oil, there's a reason why. Imani, let them sit at one side. The realm I'm operating is dangerous. Let them all sit at one place. Yeah, let them be at the back here. You cannot dare fight certain battles you don't have the strength. If you are a pastor and you've not been given that grace, don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. I was preaching in Australia. Four witches came. They started, they clashed at a bad party. It, it, it's fun to watch them. They started fighting each other. Then they said, man of God, this one is a witch. This one is a man of God. This one is. <laughs> but the, the one in Kumasi, 17 of them from the river that was next door to the church, they said, we came for you. I'm going to Dallas this week. F four years ago, a man, the guy was as tall as seven foot, carrying a pythonic spirit, entered the church. He was defeated. But that night, half of my face was destroyed. It was I think what, that was one of my most intense. Because a male wizard is equivalent to a thousand witches. So some pastors die premature because they don't have that anointing. They don't have that oil. But in every church, there has to be deliverance ministers who are ordained for that job. So how do you identify them? How do you identify them? Number one, way of identification is through prayer. It's through prayer. Not prayer to impress him. No. If you like. What is happening? Not 
prayer to impress. No. Not prayer to impress. Take on a 14 day prayer mandate that God expose the one behind my trouble from 12 a.m. to 3. Three hours for 14 days. Try it. That God expose the evil one behind this. Expose them. Prayer. I was I was um, in a church in Birmingham, London, England, and God gave me the permission to give communion. So I made people bring communion and I blessed it. And I told them when they go home, they should demarcate a mark around their house. There was a young lady whose auntie would bring her food every week. Not knowing that she puts something in the food every week. The following day was the very day she was bringing it, but unfortunately, she had demarcated. Guess what the auntie does? Auntie gets to the line of demarcation, drops the food there, calls the niece that she's in a hurry. She got to go somewhere. So she's left the food there. How did you know that there was a line of demarcation? Some of you tonight, you must anoint the four corners of your room. Because they have access to you. But tonight, every access they have around you, I shut that door by the blood of the Lamb. So number one, prayer. How do you detect it? Number one, prayer. Prayer will expose them. How do you detect a witch? Number one, prayer will expose them. Number two, how do you detect them? They carry the spirit of confusion. Colette, don't move here. Come to this side. Please. They carry the spirit of confusion. Where there is peace, when they come there, you will know it. There will be confusion. Something strange will happen. Where there is peace, when they, and they will be quiet walking, and then you'll be fighting. The spirit of confusion is inspired by gossip. There are people who are not in this service that after service they will hear everything I said. Yet they were not online. It's called witchcraft. They will call and interpret everything in their own way. In your family, you know there's this one person that is always a Confucianist. Sniff them. And when you find them, be selective of the information you give them. Because most of the time, they are the ones you keep telling everything. That's why everything of yours is not prospering. Because when you feel you're confiding in this person, the entire world has heard it.
tonight. Any spirit of confusion. Any spirit of confusion around you. As you are clapping your hands and shouting Jesus. They will be arrested. They will be arrested. They will be arrested. They will be arrested. clash your heads so they know what to tell you then they, they know what to tell you then they watch you clash your heads I hear pay for witchcraft they always want to poke their nose in your affairs Never tell you this. They will never tell you this. They can be your cousin, I don't care. They can be your sister, I don't care. They can be your mother, I don't care. They can be your father, I don't care. Tonight, I arrest them on this altar. I rise up on your feet and shall fire. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough of the confusion in my family. Enough is enough. Wherever it is coming from, catch fire. Catch fire! Catch fire! 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 Holy Ghost fire! Look, I was preaching in the West Africa Kumasi. And I told them to clap their hands. As they clap, some witches will be deaf and dumb. A young lady got home. The auntie didn't know that she was in a powerful crusade. When she got home, the auntie, the auntie had traveled from a village to, to, to the house. So when she got home, she said, Auntie, welcome. And the auntie said, Why? Why? She said, Auntie, what? Why did you slap me? I can't hear anything. Get me a cab. Get me a taxi. I'm, I'm not staying here. Get, ah. She said, Auntie, what did I do? She said, why did you slap me? You slapped me for five minutes. I can't hear. As you are clapping, any ear that is listening to your destiny, I shut their ears. I declare them deaf and dumb by the power of the anointing. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, receive the anointing to shut their ears. Receive the anointing to shut their ears by the power of the anointing. By the power of the anointing, I destroy their works in the name, name of Jesus. Fire! 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 Some of you, they've dug. Your, your grave. 
patu prekutoso evelinoske. They've dug your grave. Six feet. Then they have designed your coffin. That's why some of you are having dreams, seeing yourself dead. Ah, tonight, any grave they dug for you, I send them to that grave. In the next 72 hours, let them fall in their own grave. Let them die. Let them fall in the grave. Let their children fall in. Let their children's children. Let their womb. Let their seed. Let their own husband fall in there. You will not be a widow. You will not be a widow. You will not be a. Ha! you believe that God called me I prophesy on you no more sorrow no more sorrow no more sorrow whoever has dug a pit of grave for you let them fall in their pit whoever has plotted death for you let them fall in their own blood whoever has set traps of evil for you let them fall in their own trap in the name of jesus by the power by the power by the power by the power of the holy ghost shall fire churches let me tell you in most churches some of the witches occupy positions to occupy strategic positions to intimidate church members to sit on their destinies tonight any witch here catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire
Any pastor around me carrying witchcraft, catch fire. Be exposed. Any church leader around me carrying witchcraft, catch fire. Receive spiritual leprosy. You will not be able to oppress. You will not sit on destinies in this church. This is the house of the Lord. Catch fire. Take leprosy. You can deceive me, but you can't deceive Jehovah. Catch fire. Catch fire. I chop off your hands. in the churches of South Atlanta, Georgia. Catch fire! Any witch on oppression to bring men of God down, catch fire! That river of Stone Mountain, the place they engage. Tonight I send 7,000 angels there. That sea, that river right there of Stone Mountain that they meet and plan. I set them on fire. Certain smells which is cannot stand. Ah. I'll give you one that is always in their kitchen. Garlic. As for the rest, I'll keep it quiet. But when you enter Rock Hill, trust me. place is cooked before you enter here. If you're a witch, you won't last long here. You will not last long here. Oh no, you will go. Listen, I, I was telling somebody, you can't be a member in this church and say you've left the church. I, no, no, no. You cannot tell me I'm not a good man of God. Or you cannot tell me. No, you, so it means you are the problem. Not me, you. I, I kid you not. And when they leave, they'll, they have fault. They'll, they'll tell you why. They'll tell you, you know, did you hear what he said? Witchcraft. Some of you sometimes... Just, um, I know garlic has a very intense smell. But be a friend to that. Just sometimes. He said, my God. 
sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Number two, sacrifice. I was preaching in Dallas when I called the assistant pastor to sow a seed. I said, man of God, put a seed on the altar. So, he put a seed on the altar. Then there was a young man, about 16 year old, sitting at the back. The moment this man's seed fell on the altar, the young man started destroying everything in the church. So I looked at, I looked at the host pastor. I said, pastor, go pray for the boy. The pastor was looking for the Bible to find the scripture. That he started holding the Bible in the name of Jesus. I said, the boy was literally destroying instruments, drums. Like, this b- five men held him. Then I said, let him come. Which is know what to submit to. So he comes and says, what is your problem? Then the Spirit of the Lord told me how long they've been in this body for. Then he responded in Yoruba that what the man of God is true, we've been in 16 years. But we came to kill the assistant pastor. So everybody started screaming. I said, what's going on? Not knowing that that's his nephew. So that night, he had been sent to sit in his car. And as they're going, spiritually, he will blind, he'll blare the windscreen. Wow. Then he'll crash the car. So the boy will come out okay. No, the boy was describing everything. Then I said, why didn't you do it? He said, the moment his seed fell on the altar, wow. fire caught him where he was sitting. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen things. I've, I've seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He said we were going to kill him to this night. This is how we we're going to do it. But the moment you called him and his seed fell on the altar, his altar was lifted and fire caught us here. Guess what? The man didn't let him sit in the car home. He he told him to find his way home. (laughs) Nigerians don't take chances. But if I hadn't showed up, he would have died that night. tonight rise up on your feet we're going to pray because some of you don't understand why still in 2021 it feels like you're still in 2015 in fact you were better off in 2015 it's because somebody is held your breakthrough somewhere but tonight you you listen God has given you the power to take what belongs to you I'm not a pastor that does pray for me you don't pray for yourself no I'm you're gonna pray for yourself so that in your house when I'm not there you will do the same thing you were doing here But tonight, enough is enough. Somebody shout, enough is enough. Shout, enough is enough. Shout, enough is enough. Shout tonight, in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft agent around me on assignment as I clap my hands and pray. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. 
pastors lift up your microphones and pray Lift your voice. Clap your hands. I didn't say wave your hands. I said clap your hands. Pakatosha. Rebeku Dubusa. Ipada. Ipada. Apoduo. 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 Catch fire. Catch fire. Pilato, Apadia, 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 Apolo, 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 Apaya, Apolo, 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 Apollo, Apollo, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. Proverbs 3, 9, and 10. If you love the ministry of Dr. Sonny Badu and would like to support Rock Hill Church, kindly send your gift offerings and seed online by visiting our website, www.therockhillchurch.org, and click the green Give Now button at the top right-hand corner. You can also give via PayPal to offering at therockhillchurch.org or on Cash App, dollar sign Rock Hill Church with phone number 404-247-6460. You can also give by texting 1 to plus 1 404-900-0220 and follow the instructions. God bless you for your support and seeds. This will help us continue to reach more people with the gospel of Jesus. We appreciate you.